entertainment. Carla's Kitchen CC, best cooking around here. Welcome to Carla's Kitchen CC, YouTube channel. Yeah. Hey, Carla! Carla the big bad chef, always like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, man, comment to the thing. Carla's Kitchen CC, best cooking around here. She's creative, unique, skillful. And she's different, always chefing it up in her kitchen. Don't forget Carla's Kitchen CC. Clean and everything neat and delicious in a Carla's Kitchen. Carla's Kitchen, remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Yeah, man, click the red subscribe hey guys, button and turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified whenever she uploads a new and video. Around, guys, and support the thing. Share Carla's Kitchen CC. Yeah, and I'm also going to be putting a little bit of 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 a little and here are my seasonings. Thank you so much again, guys, for your support. And if it's your first time here, please do remember to subscribe. Turn on your post notification bell so you will not miss out on my next upload. Thank you so much. So, guys, I am going to show you how to make these delicious, tasty, deep fried deviled eggs. Just a little tip of this flour in my egg wash. And I'm going to mix it out. And the reason for the flour in the egg wash, because you know the egg is normally slippery when you boil an egg and take it out of the shell so in order for the breadcrumbs to stick properly on the eggs i rather to have a thicker egg wash okay okay this is good okay guys so let's begin so the first thing i'm going to do i am going to lightly coat the egg in the flour and I did not put anything in the flour I'm just using the flour plain as it is so I am going in now with the egg lightly in the flour like that make sure that you coat the egg properly in the flour like that so after coating the egg in the flour, what you do, you, you shake it off to get off excess amount of flour from the egg and then you put the egg into the egg wash like that. Then after you put it in the egg wash, you're going to put it in the breadcrumb like that, ensuring that all of the egg is covered properly in the breadcrumb then you're gonna go back in the egg like that and back in the breadcrumb so now I'm gonna go in with my dry hand okay and you are coating it till you cannot see any white part of the egg So it's like you're burying the eggs in the breadcrumb. You press it gently. Just 
try to see if you can get it to hold as much as you can because when it starts frying yes of course some is going to shell off but try to get it try to pack it as much as you can all right okay so after finish coating it it should look something like this all right so I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm going to repeat the steps okay dust it off Bread crumb, dry hand, repeat the steps. Take a look at what we have here. The color is so beautiful. It's like a little golden brown going on here. Very, very nice color, guys. And these are about ready. Yes, yum. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna prepare the filling for the eggs. I wanna call them egg cups. I don't know why, but I'm gonna start preparing the filling so this is the egg yolk and i'm gonna mash it out like this okay so after mashing out the egg yolk this is what it looks like and i'm gonna go in now with a pinch of salt pinch of black pepper followed by my other seasoning Okay, I'm gonna stir that in a little bit. And this is food coloring. This is going to help with the color that I desire. So I'm just gonna, you know, mix it in to combine it properly, just like this. So I get that nice yellow, yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with some all-purpose seasoning and I'm also going to be adding some garlic powder here some parsley look how beautiful that egg yolk is looking already guys you once more for your support truly appreciate it some saison now I'm gonna add some feta cheese I'm 
going to combine this together with the egg yolk. Okay, I will now add my mayo, mayonnaise, and I'm just going to be adding just a small portion. And I'm also going to be adding some yellow mustard. Just a small portion. I'm adding some hot sauce. And this is going to kick up the flavor in it. So you're mostly going to be tasting when you make it. You know, a little spicy, a little sweetish kind of taste going on there. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to combine this together just like this. Look, guys. So this is the color. It's very nice. So the mixing process is finished. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to transfer this into a Ziploc bag. And if you have a piping bag, you can use that as well. It's fine. But I'm using my Ziploc bag today. So here's my Ziploc bag. So I'm going to put my filling in my bag. Just like that. So I'm going to punch a hole to the tip of my bag and I'm using a toothpick to do so. And if you want to know how I cut these eggs, you can watch my previous devil eggs video and you will see how I get my eggs into these shapes. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to fill this one up. fried devil eggs guys these are so crispy crunchy tasty and delicious try this recipe out guys fried deviled eggs topping it off with some shrimp and some sweet olive try it out guys remember to like this video share this video out and if you're new please remember to subscribe and turn on your post notification bell so you will not miss out on my next upload thank you so much for watching thanks for supporting and i'll see you again bye